Good morning, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater out here on a cloudy day in the Richwoods community. Uh, we're going to be doing a 133 inch uh, Screen Innovations Zero Edge Black Diamond screen with the uh, uh, 1.2 gain. And I custom ordered this screen. I just wanted to show you uh, the process of getting this into the home and getting it mounted and uh, the end result. I'll upload uh, the process. So here's the space we're working with. We're doing a little upgrade. Uh, you can see we brought some components with us. We have the Electromotion FX2 on wall bipoles, and then we got the Electromotion Rs and a projector mount for the projector. Um, we're going to be doing the Sony 285, broadcasting onto that 133 inch screen, which is going in here. You can see he already has some of his items a couple tower speakers from uh, Energy from his last house that we're going to be integrating into the system. Yeah, we have a uh, energy sub as well, and then an energy center speaker, all of which uh, we're going to utilize. And then he had an old Marantz, which we're replacing with the new uh, Marantz 6013. And then this uh, low entry level uh, quality white screen, which the 133 inch is going to replace. Here's our terminations for the in ceilings, which we're just gonna cut larger. And then our rears terminations. Looks like the other one's behind this door over here. Yep.
right, well, we got it up here. I guess there's a reason they have two different ways that you can order this thing. Either fully assembled like it is now, or you can get it uh, uh, where you assemble it on site, which we could have done as well. If your home's too small, doesn't have this big open stairwell, don't be scared. We can uh, assemble it on site, and then uh, if we need to, we can even assemble it inside of the theater room. Um, but uh, we made it. I'll show you once we get it up on the wall. All right, uh, we are preparing to get the screen up on the wall, and I just wanted to point out a couple key things you have to do with this 7 Series Zero Edge screen. Um, one is power outlet installation. You can't run the high voltage uh, power line to the RGB LEDs through the wall, so we need to plug them in up here. We relocated a power outlet from the bottom up top, and then we also ran a Cat5 cable to extend our IR sensor so we can control the RGB lights and not have to be directional. Well, we're going to take this into a processor so he can uh, control this through radio frequency like the rest of the devices in the room. And then we got the mounting brackets up on the wall and we're going to go ahead and get her hung up. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't forget your gloves. Mm-hmm. turned out if if you look there are a few differences in this new pro model um, not only from the way that the LED RGB strip uh, mounts on the back or the controller um, but also one of the biggest differences I'm seeing here is this um, black velvet frame versus they had a metal frame before um, which this is going to be a lot better for um, the light uh, from the projector having a little bleed zone instead of it being reflective, um, which I'm assuming is why they did it. Um, this is also really cool. I like how they put a little magnetic SI logo on here that just sticks on the bottom um, and gives off a really nice look with the LED RGBs behind it. Um, now we're just gonna peel off the uh, protective screen plastic and then we'll get it calibrated. screen um, installed and I just have the LED backlighting on right now in white. I'm about to put some content on the screen so you guys can see it but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. You can see in this system we're running this 133 inch um, black diamond and then we're running a 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos system. We got front left and right towers center sub and then overhead Martin Logan EMRs for our Atmos effects and then in the rear of the room the FX2 bipoles and um, everything's powered up through this Marantz 6013 model and we're using the Apple TV, Direct TV and a Blu-ray player um, and then using a Pro Control Universal Remote Control System here. 
um, to operate the system. Um, the customer will have the different devices laid out on the screen, Direct TV, Apple TV, Blu-ray, screen lights, be able to switch between movie and music modes uh, all very easily. Um, you can even come in here and you know change over to your different colors, red, yellow, blue, um, you turn them off if it's bothering you. Or another feature that I like is the fact that you can turn the brightness down. So if you're um, watching a show and it's interfering with the quality of the video, um, especially if you're in complete darkness, you can kind of turn it down to still give yourself the effect of the backlighting without um, bothering you. But for demo purposes, I'm going to crank it up. And I'm going to go with white. Cool. Well, uh, let's get some content up here.